Napoli have been one of the teams of the season so far and are running away with Serie A and the Champions League final is not out of their reach so I wanted to take a look at Spalletti's tactics and find out what makes them so special. I originally wanted to analyse the Eintracht Frankfurt game but that was too easy for them so we have the Serie A game against Atalanta that finished 2-0 to Napoli. From the goal kicks, Napoli form a 2-3-2-3 shape with the fullbacks taking up positions either side of the pivot, Lobotka. The two centre-backs are in line with the keeper, who takes an active role in the build-up. The two attacking midfielders take up positions in the half-spaces and the wide attackers either side of Oshimen. As the opposition are pressing with four, although not very aggressively, Lobotka drops back between the centre-backs to make up the extra player. This is where the keeper becomes active as Lobotka lays off a pass to the keeper and takes his marker away from the ball. This is where we see one of the attacking midfielders, Anguissa, drop back to become a second pivot. By attracting the press in central areas, he has left space in the wide areas for the fullbacks to advance. Lorenzo receives a pass and Napoli can now advance into the second phase. After occupying central areas, this is where Napoli now like to flood the wide areas, with their attacking midfielders moving into spaces on the flanks and linking up with the wide attackers and the fullbacks. This will have two benefits. Napoli can overload the flanks and fire crosses into the dangerous Osimhen. Or this will force the opposition to overload the wide areas and this leaves spaces behind Osimhen for the other attacking midfielder. Here it is actually Lobotka who has burst onto the flanks. There are four defenders around two Napoli players, so if they can find a pass infield, there will be spaces to attack. Here we can see that Lobotka is key to Napoli's build-up play, as they drift from a 2-3 formation into a 3-2 formation to free up space for the centre-back to receive a pass. When the opposition are pressing, this soon becomes a 3-3 formation, with Anguissa dropping back alongside the inverted fullbacks. Napoli play with inverted fullbacks that slot in alongside the pivot to allow the attacking midfielders and the forwards more freedom to create. As we said before, the fullbacks have the freedom to move into the half spaces to support the wide attackers too, as Napoli look to overload the midfield areas. This forces the opposition to form a narrow defensive line to protect the most dangerous areas which is in front of the goal, but the threat here is that Napoli can get their wide attackers in behind the fullbacks. When Napoli overload the midfield areas, the opposition's defenders are busy concentrating on what's in front of them, that they forget about Osimhen behind them. He can run into spaces vacated by the distracted defenders. Here, Napoli's overloaded midfield has attracted two defenders towards the player with the ball, and this opens up a chance for Osimhen to get in behind the defence and get a shot away that is blocked by a defender. There is often a big gap between the Napoli midfield and Osimhen up front, and Napoli are not afraid of playing longer balls into the channels for a player in Osimhen that has bags of pace and power. When under pressure, Napoli have the ideal player to feed the ball to in order to turn defence into attack. In this case, Oshimen wins a corner. Here Napoli are pressing aggressively in their 4-1-4-1 shape and win the ball, which rebounds to Oshimen and leaves Kvaskelia free to fire a shot into the back of the net. Napoli's fullbacks play a key role in all of their tactics and formations. They use underlapping fullbacks to gain the advantage in wide areas. The fullback can take up a position between the opposition's centre-back and fullback. Here it's Atalanta's centre-back and wing-back in their 3-4-3 system. So effectively, Napoli have a 3-6-1 that can also be seen as a 3-4-3, with Lobotka sitting in front of the centre-backs. The underlapping fullback will take the attentions of the centre-back so that Napoli's tricky wide attackers can dribble past the marker. Out of possession, Oshimen will press the player with the ball and Napoli form a 4-1-4-1 shape. With all the midfielders occupying the central areas, the wide attackers are narrow and using their cover shadow to block passes out to the wingers. The team then gradually cut off all passing angles and force the opposition into longer balls. 
where Min Jai can win aerial battles. Obviously with Oshimen up front, any team would be a threat, but Spalletti has created a team that is very flexible in their style of play. They are able to beat teams in a variety of ways with their possession-based football. They can overload certain areas of the pitch to create opportunities. They are aggressive in pressing, and from here they are devastating on the counter.